Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to our live stream, if anyone's out there. I'm gonna get started by reading the disclaimer and then we will uh, get set up for our class today. So, in response to COVID-19, PSP is offering virtual fitness classes to Canadian Armed Forces members. By using social media platforms, the virtual fitness classes tailored to Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all. Participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and physical fitness level are unknown, and it is entirely up to each individual to assess their ability to participate in the class. Since it is preferable to consult your physician before beginning any exercise program, we invite all participants who are not Canadian Armed Forces members to consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document. If you experience any pain during this exercise presented in the video, it is recommended that you stop and consult a healthcare provider. If you're a CAF member and sustain an injury during this video, please remember to fill out a CF-98. So, hi everybody. It feels like it's been uh, quite some time since I have been in front of the camera. So, um, thank you, I guess, for having me back. Today we are doing a yoga and mobility class. So I invite you to grab a mat um, or some kind of flat surface. You might also want to grab yourself um, a pillow as we'll need it for a couple of our postures and poses today. Um, I think it's safe to say that today is more of a mobility class rather than your standard yoga class. So we'll be doing some stretching um, and some strengthening work in some different poses and postures. So we're going to get ready. We're just going to warm up our shoulders. Oh, sorry, I think I forgot a very important part. My name is Emily and I'm at the dockyard today. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So we are going to start by just lying on our back. I hope I have an okay um, angle for you guys. I guess I can try to push over a wee bit. I can, I can try to go at an angle so that you can see the postures from the side. So what we're going to start with, we're going to lie on our back. I have my computer nice and close just because that's where my um, notes are for the class. So we're going to lie on our back into what's called stick pose. We're going to start by warming up our shoulders. We're going to start with our toes pointed up to the sky as high and as far towards your chin as you can get them while digging your heels into the floor. We're going to inhale and on the inhale you're going to point your toes to the front of the room and as if you're making a snow angel, you're going to bring your hands over top of your head, fingernails never leaving contact with the floor. As your hands come back to your side, your feet come back towards the ceiling. Inhale, toes are pointing, fingertips coming along the floor over the head. You're going to do this for five breaths. So each breath is a different movement. So we've just done two. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale one more time. Now, just as if we are out playing in the snow, I'm going to turn my mat so that you guys can see 
making me a little bit better. We're gonna go into a full snow angel position. So we're going to be adding our legs into this. So if you wanna to come to a seated position, just to kind of watch what I'm doing. So you're gonna start with your, in a stick pose with your hands uh, down by your sides, palms are facing in, toes are pointed. We're going to inhale. As we inhale, you're going to uh, allow your fingertips to make contact with the ground, opening up your legs until you're in a star position. You can allow your hands to come fully overhead if you want to, or just staying out that star position is fine before rotating your hands so your fingertips are touching the ground and coming back to the stick pose. We're just going to do that three times. Exhale, back to stick pose. Inhale, exhale, dragging the fingertips, holding here for a moment. Inhale, exhale, coming back to the stick pose. Good. We're going to bring our knees towards our chest. Allow your lower back to sink further into the mat. I'm just gonna kind of gently rock back and forth in this position. Every so often stopping to bring the knees closer to the chest. You should be about um, shoulder width apart with your leg positioning, right hand is in contact with the right knee, left hand in contact with the left knee, and just rocking back and forth ever so gently. Good. Awesome. And we're going to come on up to our hands and knees. And we're just going to do some gentle um, rocking to do a little bit of a connection breath. So we want to inhale, connecting, especially um, men obviously have pelvic floors too, but ladies, this is really important for us. So we're going to inhale, connecting our pelvic floor to the rest of our body. Exhale as we are pushing through our palms. Bring our bum closer to our heels. Inhale, nice long inhale. Come back to that tabletop position on our hands and knees. And again, warming up those hip flexors. Inhale, and exhale. You'll notice that each time that you exhale, you're able to sink a little bit deeper into that posture. Maybe your thumb is getting closer to your heels. Push the mat away from you through your palms. Fingers are spread apart. Inhaling back to center. Exhaling. Come on back down. Let's do this for three more breaths, just on your own count. One more breath, inhaling back, tabletop. Exhaling, pushing the hips towards the back of the room. Notice how much closer your bum is getting to your heels now. Beautiful. Come on back up to your tabletop position. Now, if you have a foam roller at home, uh, I'm gonna encourage you to grab it. We're gonna do some T-spine work now. If you don't have a foam roller, you can try doing this with um, a pillow, or you can you can sort of mimic this with a lacrosse ball, but it is a little bit more challenging. With the lacrosse ball, you're getting in very specific little spots. With foam roller, it's kind of more general and probably a lot more comfortable. So if you have foam roller or you have a pillow, um, we're going to, if you have a pillow, you can kind of like fold it in two. And we're going to, 
lie on top of the pillow or the foam roller. If you have a shorter foam roller, what you can do is make sure that the foam roller is making contact with the shoulder blades um, and you can put another pillow that's just kind of like equal to that, equal to the height of it to support your hips. So your hips and your shoulders, everything should be nice and in line. So we're gonna place our tailbone onto the foam roller, cross your chest, and then very gently, we're just going to rock to the right side and then to the left side. Notice how the foam roller, or I guess your pillow at this point, is kind of naturally massaging some of those tight spots through your back, through your shoulder, through your spine. A little bit of balance work is, goes a long way with this one. Good. Now what I'm gonna get you to do, your hands are crossed over your chest. Now I'm going to simply get you to bring your hands out to the side in a cross or a T position. And then just as we did when we were doing angels in the snow, you're going to continue. So your fingertips are touching the floor. Your palms are facing the sky. Inhale, as you begin your inhale, you're going to drag those fingertips along the floor over our head. And then full range of motion, we're gonna come back that same path, making that angel in the snow, bringing the hands all the way down towards the, our side. Same thing, coming back up, fingertips making contact. You'll notice that you won't be able to use your, the pads of your fingers for the entire time. You're gonna to have to rotate at some point to get the hands completely overhead and then coming back down to our side. Let's do this five more times. You'll notice that not only are you getting underneath your scapula with this one, but you're also relaxing your chest. Our shoulders and our chest often, we're holding a lot of tension in those areas. Two more. Following your breath, and one more. Good, now we're gonna add a different dimension to this a little bit. Bringing your hands back down to the floor, palms are flat to the floor. You're going to remain with your shoulder blades on the foam roller or on your pillow, but you're going to press through your heels, going into a bridge position. And what you're going to find, if you haven't already, is that this further activates some muscles um, in your back and you will feel uh, the foam roller making contact and hopefully you can try to relax into that a little bit. We're just gonna hold this here for five breaths. Belly should be nice and tight. And relax, make contact once again. Your bum can come down towards the foam roller. You can take a moment here just using the foam roller to massage through our shoulder blades, through our spine. Again, we're gonna do that one more time, pushing through the hips. Allow yourself to relax into the foam roller. Being patient with yourself if you have any of those soft spots. And if you really want to, you can continue doing your 
angels in the snow from this position. Depending on how tight you are, you may really feel this through your shoulders. And that's okay as long as it's not injuring you in any way, shape, or form. Relax down. Good. We're going to do this for three breaths this time. Inhale. Pushing the hips away from the foam roller. Heels making contact with the floor. Three breaths. That was one. Two. One more for three. And awesome. Relax. Let's just stay here in this position for one more moment. I want you to bend your elbows down so that you're kind of in a W position. So draw your elbows towards your heels. And we're just going to stay here, allow our chest to open up. Let's breathe through this for a series of five breaths. Depending on your mobility, you may need to put pillows underneath your elbows. And if you do, that's okay. your last breath very very carefully cross your hands back over your chest support yourself with your forearms to come on back up to a seated position all right I'm gonna just check in I do see some comments here oh it's Josh and Danny <laughs> hey guys they are downstairs all right so we're going to work a little bit on our hip flexors at this point so let's go into uh, a figure four position. We're going to bring our ankle just on top of our, uh, just on top of our knee on the left side. We're gonna use this also as a little bit of a balancing exercise. So you're gonna kind of sit back onto your sits bones, onto that tailbone. And you're gonna clasp your fingers in behind your leg, very gently pulling the knee towards the chest going to feel a stretch through your right side if you have your left knee off the floor. Hold this for five breaths. Good. On your fifth breath, you're going to very gently lie back so your shoulders are now making contact with the mat. Continue to interlace the fingers behind the knee and you're going to feel that this stretch while lying on your back is definitely more intense and that's okay. We're going to stay here for a series of five breaths. Every breath that you take, I would like you to think about relaxing more into the stretch. Allow your back to melt into the, into the floor. If you saw that interruption. Good, let's come back up to a seated position. Same thing on the other side, so come into a, a balancing position. Onto your sit bones, figure four, interlace your fingers behind the right leg this time, pulling the knee towards the chest. We're just going to warm up the position 
here first, then we're going to transition onto our back where you'll find it to be a little bit more intense. more breaths. Awesome. Now transition very gently, curling your spine towards the floor. Continue to pull your knee towards your chest. Five breaths here. Again, each breath that you take, feel yourself sinking deeper into the stretch. Try to break through any tension or uncomfortable uh, feelings that you may have that may be restricting that mobility. One more breath. Relax, release the hands. Bring your feet together. Heels are making contact, toes are making contact if you can, dropping your knees down towards the floor. If you want to use your hands to guide your knees uh, closer to the floor, you can do that. If you are struggling with this position and need a little bit of extra support, you can put a pillow underneath opposite knees and just try to relax into this position for just a couple moments. Let's do three breaths here. This position just gives us a little bit of reprieve from the pose that we were just doing. Allow the knees to come back together. Come on back up to a seated position. And then transition to a tabletop. So from the tabletop position, you're going to inhale. On the exhale, you're going to move both knees to the right as far as they will go, okay? You're going to take your right knee Bring it off the floor and behind the left knee, allowing yourself to come down into a pigeon pose. Now, depending on your flexibility is really going to be the variable as to how far you can comfortably get into this pose. So if you need to, you can use your foam roller to support your body. If you need to be up a little bit higher, you can use your pillow, whatever you have on hand. Or if you are okay sinking into that pose a little bit further, you can allow your forearms to come to the floor and then eventually uh, your forehead can make contact with the floor or you can stack your fists, whatever the most comfortable for you. Let's stay here for six breaths. So each breath that you take, Feel yourself relaxing into the stretch. I know it's hard. Our muscles are kind of protecting us right now. That's why we're a little bit apprehensive to just relax and let go. But allow your breath to help you get there. Six breaths.
three more breaths. When you're breathing, you want to make sure that you're inhaling as much air as possible. And when you exhale, you're exhaling all of the air before inhaling again. Last breath before coming back up, pulling the knee underneath us once again. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So we're going to get into this pose in the exact same way as before. Inhale. On your exhale, you're going, I can turn this way so you can see. So you're inhaling. On your exhale, rotating both of the knees to the left side. Then you're picking your left leg up, dropping it in behind your right leg, and then relaxing into your stretch. I'm gonna turn back around. Again, you may find uh, one side tighter than the other. That's usually the case as we're typically like right side or left side dominant, depending. So if you feel like this side's a little bit tighter and you need some more support, uh, grab yourself a pillow, uh, whatever you need to kind of get through. Again, we're going to stay here for six breaths. I know for me, this side is most definitely tighter. One more breath here. Come back into a tabletop position. We're gonna go into a child's pose for a series of three breaths. So coming onto your hands and knees, pushing your, pushing through your palms, allowing your glutes to make contact with your heels, and then forehead to come to the floor. Walking your fingertips forward to the front of your mat. You'll notice your hips are significantly more warmed up and you have way more mobility than when we first started. through the palm. We're going to go into a frog pose. So we're going to get nice and wide, dropping your ankle towards the floor, pushing your, so your ankles are towards the floor, the insides of your feet. You're going to push your hips back, bringing both forearms to the floor and relaxing your forehead on your forearms. So 
your toes are facing opposite walls, inside of the heels are touching the ground, allowing our hips to very gently rock backwards. We're going to hold this for five breaths. Good. On your fifth breath, come on to your hands, first and foremost. Then nice and gently bring your knees back together. We're now going to come into a deep squat. So I'm going to get you to come to the front of your mat. Your feet are going to come as far apart as the mat, if not wider. So I'm in a pretty wide squat stance at this point. Point the toes the opposite sides of the room ever so slightly so you're not going into like a plie type position but just very gently pointing the feet out and we're going to allow ourselves to drop down to the squat position just below where it's considered an active squat and it becomes a stretch bringing the knees um, sorry the elbows into the knees Palms pressing together, uh, applying some pressure to the insides of both knees. Let's hold this for five breaths. If you need to uh, have some support, you can put pillows underneath your bum. One more breath here. Bring your hands to the floor. You're still going to be nice and wide. Press your hips towards the floor. We're going to come into a forward bend. Allow your neck, your hands, your shoulders, everything to kind of hang in a ragdoll position. If you need to have a slight bend in your knees, that's okay. Just gonna hang here for five breaths. Now, bring your heels, heel toe uh, in towards the mat so that your heels are in line or just underneath your hips. Bending your knees as much as possible to get your hands underneath the balls of your feet. And through a series of breaths, we're going to press the hips up towards the sky, pressing the heels into the ground. The 
goal here is to get our legs as straight as possible. Good. Drop the, the bum back down towards the heels and we're gonna heel toe back into that deep squat position. Bringing the hands once again back to heart center. Knees are making contact with the elbows and the elbows are pressing the knees away from each other. Let's stay here for five more breaths. We're gonna do that whole cycle one more time. Pressing palms toward each other. Closer to your chest, the better. Good. Remaining with the wide stance, you're going to lean forward ever so slightly, interlacing or crossing your arms. Opposite hand is holding the opposite forearm, pressing the hips towards the sky, bending the knees as much as you need to, and allowing yourself to hang in a right doll position. Let's stay here for three breaths. Try straightening your legs throughout the breath. On the third breath, I want you to heel toe your feet so that they're just underneath your hips. Once again, still staying in this bent over position, place the palm of your hand into the ball of your foot. And once again, press away from the floor with your heels. Do your best to try to straighten your legs. Shoulders are coming away from the ears. Let's stay here for five to six breaths this time. Each breath that you take, I want you to feel yourself getting deeper into the stretch. Again, as I mentioned before, big inhales, filling our lungs with oxygen, and then as our exhale is nice and slow, exhaling all of the air before taking another breath. Good, relax a little bit. Take the hands out from underneath the feet. We're gonna to come to a stand, but we're, since we've been down here for so long, we're gonna do this very systematically. So bringing the hands to the shins. Inhale to a half back. Exhale, bring the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, three quarters. Exhale. Inhale to a full stand. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna inhale, bring the shoulders up towards our ears. Exhale, down and back. 
We're gonna loosen up our neck since we were down there for so long. So we're just gonna drop our ear to the left shoulder. Right hand is going to point towards the floor as if we have lightning bolts from our fingertips. Good, let's take three big deep breaths here. Closing in on the end of our practice. Inhale back to center, exhale to the other side. I'm cracking a little bit. So kind of opposing forces, fingertips towards the floor, ear towards the shoulder. Good, come on back up to center, awesome. Tucking your chin towards the floor. Looking at our toes. Good. Inhaling back to center, looking up towards the sky, stretching in through our throat and through the chest. If you want, you can interlace fingers behind you. Awesome. Okay, guys, thank you uh, so, so much for joining me. Uh, like I said, it's been so long since I was back on camera, but tomorrow, um, even more back in my element, and we will be doing a lower body and core. So I will see you then. Okay, bye for now.